Hello everyone, in this video today we'll do a reading about their thoughts, feelings, intentions towards you right now. Um, if you'd like to participate in this video, please think of a person and choose a deck. You can think of several different people, you can think of four different people and choose a deck. And we'll start the reading. Have chosen. So let's start with our deck number one, golden, golden tarot. Okay, their thoughts about you. Okay, so first thing that I'm getting here, first feeling is some sort of desperation. It's as if you're like desperate maybe or you've been waiting for a long time, you know, maybe for this relationship here. You know, maybe they think you're desperate to be with them, you're in love with them very strongly and there has been some sort of intensity going on oh, when it comes to you and I feel it's um, romantic romantic intensity so it could be like they feel that you're very strongly in love with them they might feel that you were strongly I don't know into them you know that sort of thing it could be some sort of other relationship perhaps but um, overall feeling is that you you care about people and and in some cases can be also kind of neediness, you know, like you're trying to cling into someone here. Maybe I'm wrong, okay, I don't want to say something, but just sometimes I struggle to find the words, but... Yeah, it depends on the relationship, you know, for some people we can talk about that they see is very active and assertive if it's a male person if it's a not male if it's a your partner type of um, romantic partner they might see you as initiating always calling messaging you know like always being the one who is you know active so okay so i don't know if they like that or not what do they think of that Well, most likely that they like that. It's very kind of positive from their perspective. It um, make, makes them feel good about themselves and it's very promising and sort of like seductive in a way. Um, okay, let's have a look at what are their feelings towards you. Well, feelings, um, it's as if they, they left you, you know, it's as if they're moving away from you. So they might have seen you as their woman before. Maybe they dated you, maybe they were with you, you know, the empress. But, uh, you know, the hermit and six of swords kind of shows that they want to move away. They want to kind of let go. So it's, it's going into the past. Somehow it's going into the past. This relation is kind of fading, you know, that kind of connection is fading so they might see start seeing you as ex already the feelings are kind of loss, separation, loneliness so that sort of situation now let's have a look what are their intentions to really move on or to save this what are their intentions well, according to these cards, um, you know, there is not perfect with the Three of Swords. This, the relationship is not perfect. I don't know if you had a fight or if it's a love triangle situation, but uh, they might actually want to try it again, maybe, or, you know, with you, maybe they want 
to try and call you again it, when they kind of need you that sort of situation but these cards are kind of you know it depends if they are married and you feel it's very unbelievable that they would call you it's a there it's a possibility that they will be um <clears throat> stuck with their family here but they will be kind of they might call you or something but there's also some another relationship perhaps and your family if you th if you are single for example it could be that you know they want to propose to you and have a like a long term relationship um with you serious relationship going towards marriage for for some of you are they planning of marrying you Page of coins well, at the moment, it shows some sort of restriction. Most likely, they're planning a working relationship with you. Very formal, very professional. So perhaps they're already married then. This card's good point that they might want to kind of reconcile and call you sometime. I like to have, I don't know, a fling or something romantic. But they might have already also some other relationship. Okay, so what is the advice for you regarding this person? Well, it shows kind of rejection, you know, like you love them, love them. You're trying to uh, approach them, your feelings, your heart is, uh, are going towards them, but uh, it doesn't work out. Something is, that whole process, that whole um procedure of you trying it it's always failing so most likely it's it's not for you this person you know, it's not yours is this person yours well i don't think so look we have i have this uh feeling like it's always doubt it's always indecision can be double relationship dual some sort of relationship person is unemotional very cold and unromantic and basically selfish can be like a wall like a stone wall and um whatever you want to kind of proceed or open up there is some sort of always like they might say no or they might limit something or they might not open up completely so it's these are signs that perhaps this person is not for you. Okay, so this was our reading number one. Let's move on to our deck number two. Okay, our deck number two, Sun and Moon Tarot deck. Asking about other person, what are their thoughts about right now? Okay, so most likely again we have um, the cards of financial cards. They might think of you through your work through your social status what's happening in your life they might see you as it can be very um someone who's like about money someone who's doing business maybe someone who has who's employed in a big company or who is kind of famous somewhere uh, but there is an element of you know you know can be vanity for some people uh, like like to socialize maybe it's media social media you're on social media they see you there and they think you're very beautiful you have many friends subscribers followers likes you know things like that and they might think you might have a good life 
uh, they might see you as a self-made person because we have power first and failure and abundant success and luxury so it's kind of increasing gradually let's see financially secure popular successful and can afford um, a good life at the moment so they might see you as this person now what are their feelings towards you right now king of swords two of pentacles and four of wands so again the cards mostly point to working situation it's like very dry and professional and kind of normal um, there's a little bit of stress going on so feelings are will you be able to finish some work will you be able to do something fast it's very much about some work they're focusing on your results on your skills on you know again will you be able to achieve something so there is a little bit of anxiety and like trying to push you taking it for granted uh, with this king of swords you know i feel like it's very again like fast 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 and uh complete some sort of work do the work and overall it's friendly but more like a boss and employee kind of relationship with them uh, being perhaps boss i don't know colleagues something like that for me because not many emotional love cards here okay what about their intentions towards you okay we have worry judgment and seven of cups you know intentions definitely they have plans for you uh they want to perhaps solve some problem they want to renew something rebuild something you know five of pentacles can show that you know maybe you're together uh, at the moment <clears throat> or maybe they like together as friends or as employers uh colleagues sorry so with this card here it's as if they want some sort of you coming up with new ideas you know to save something to solve some problems to fix something even if it's a friendship or romantic relationship which is weird as a relationship very dry very kind of uh, seems only thinking about work every every time maybe it's you together but you're kind of always working and talking about work so it might be they want you to come up with some sort of creative ideas or some sort of results to come from you like almost impossible results and um, they definitely might want to like you to create something i guess Empress and Ace of Pentacles. Yes, to create a product, to come up with some sort of idea, result. Um, cards could be good. Uh, talking about a relationship, it kind of also talks about marriage and like fruits of work, you know, being there, some sort of results. So I don't really know if it's a romantic at this point, uh, some sort of intention or work related. Maybe they want you to make money for them or uh, do something for them, like um, complete a project and save something that was falling. It can be they want you to get pregnant if it's a marriage, you know. Like they want success, that there will be success for for you too, financial success. Is this a romantic relationship? Well, it says yes, it's a romantic relationship. So it can be like pregnancy, marriage, also like they want the results from you, kids, you know, um, that sort of situation. Like it's been also kind of stuck relationship maybe 
you've been together, then you stop being together, then they want to reconcile with you again, but they have conditions, something like that. So what is advice for you regarding this person? Moon. Moon, nine of pentacles, fool. You know, we have two cards that are kind of warning cards, the moon and the fool. It might tell you that this person is just after money or some sort of gain, like maybe they want your money because we have a pattern here, money, 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 money everywhere. And the moon is, of course, they are lying to you and hiding things, most likely. There are many unclear elements about this person. Nine of Pentacles is, of course, um, Moon with Nine of Pentacles is like maybe it's a theft, maybe it's a fraud. So maybe they're after your money because if you especially have money and you feel it could be you, um, you know, then you know, there's a possibility that there's something going on that you don't know. And the fool. It could be on be stupid, you know, be very careful. This is too risky, especially if you put your finances and security at risk. So, yeah, be careful with this person. Definitely don't believe in them and don't um, do what they are telling you to do, basically. If they are suggesting you something or if they are promising you some, most likely they are trying to make you, um, trying to make a fool of you. Yeah, and if they're offering a new job or a new business, it's risky, I think. So yeah, this was our reading number two. I hope that it's not that bad and it's just something minor. But still, you know, I just can't help but feel that warning with those three cards, especially with money. Anyway, thank you for watching this uh, reading. Let's move on to our reading number three. Number three, golden wheel tarot. So, what does this person think of you right now? Well, again, we have a very confident female, we have a very kind of um, active, action-oriented, uh, industrious female. It could be you're a great businessman, you're very good with money. It could be you're very confident. There is a little, quite a bit of a, maybe even some sort of like personality to you. Something very unpredictable going unpredictable. Of course, you can see you have two kids and you're very strict and you're very kind of a uh, straightforward person. But um, like a person who likes to play, control, a person who's confident, a person, maybe your doctor, even some sort of professional, you know, who is who knows what they're doing. And... Um, there is an element either you work with kids or there is some sort of or you have kids uh, uh, you're busy and but there's also some sort of unpredictability and like they might think you're selfish and oriented self-oriented basically like you you know what you want you're trying to get it and you don't you ignore everyone on the way something like that you're very headstrong so with these cards it seems to be like that lots of activity lots of business lots of kind of um, intelligence here lots of kind of despite of these cards like game like play I feel like there could be more like you're the responsible one and you're just maybe man multitasking or managing people or kids or your kids or something like that 
or it can be you're extremely young, you know, you're extremely young but super serious, something like that. So let's have a look now at at what other feelings towards you. So it's kind of again contradicting each other's like some complaint is there uh, as if you are a team maybe there was a work situation that work situation ended and but you are back there and um, they're kind of okay with that so I think there is no trust something with trust like the, the like you f feel that you betrayed them you feel like you're unpredictable again for me like maybe they cannot trust you or you broke their trust or something like that because of something that you did at work maybe something that you did socially some sort of decision you know something that you told them something that made you feel that it was too harsh and too fast and too unexpected so I feel that they uh, might be confused about certain things that you said or did or decided maybe cancelled something like some sort of meeting or cancelled stop participating in a project something like that you broke a promise maybe or anyway let's have a look what are their intentions towards you look intentions as you see are not very good cards uh, most likely they are very very angry and disappointed maybe more disappointed than angry um, they felt that they have been they might understand your point and, and all that they might understand uh, especially if it's a professional some sort of situation but I feel that they cannot get over it and they're kind of angry with this like they feel like they've been wronged or, or you did something wrong or, or they cannot get over it or maybe they understand it's their problem like they feel a bit guilty also but um, but they simply don't know how, don't intend to deal with this. They, they just want to for it to go away. Basically, so I don't think they want to reconcile. I don't think they want to solve this. I think they want to just uh, end it with this kind of not so optimistic note. Let's say, like someone who's been hurt or mistreated or used like but it can be very personal some people in the same situation some people take it personally some people don't take it personally so it can be a very very personal um, situation and it doesn't have to be a fault at all we can actually see what you did wrong in the situation it shows greed it shows not wanting to share it shows uh, you can say not wanting to compromise and wanting to stick to some old routine or old habit and maybe you didn't want to be flexible so your yeah, inflexibility and some sort of uh, simplifying things in a way that it's better for you it might have hurt that person what you did right in that situation look I feel that you chose not to do anything kind of you chose the path that is least conflicting and whatever you did or said say the here was because of your inability to make up your mind it's because of you didn't know what to do it's not because you were angry and you really did it on purpose but it's because you thought not doing anything or not answering it or not deciding or just being in between will be the best you can do so it's like you're not upsetting them by saying no but also you're not upsetting yourself by saying yes so something like that now what is the advice for you regarding this person oh 
Well, we have the the cards that show that you really want that person. It's a big attraction or something, obsession. Uh, it can be not that person. It can be because of someone else that you are obsessed with. There is a problem with this person, okay? So we have an extreme illusion, fantasy, and obsession, and lust, and, you know, attraction, and to a person who might be not worth it. A person who is selfish, a person who is very attractive, a person who is very manipulating, maybe. It's like magician almost. Um, so you are basically very obsessed. So the fact that you're very obsessed, it says that you're not free, you're being controlled by that person, you're being kind of, you're living in an imaginary world and you're not thinking clearly so maybe you have to deal with this obsession you know any obsession is not good i mean because uh, it's something extreme it's something not balanced and not super healthy it's a bit on the over the top type of thing so how can you overcome this but first of all you don't want it i think so it might be very impossible <sighs> I think uh, your wishes might be too big for what the reality is. So it says that uh, it would be great to accept the reality that is there and the relationship the way it is there and kind of appreciate it, kind of come down from the sky on the ground and try to appreciate the way things are. Like if you're with someone else right now, let's say that person is very simple, uh, maybe... Um, or maybe you've got something from that relationship that is a little bit is there. So I feel like uh, it would be great to um, appreciate that little that you have, you know. There's something that is not that bad. Because you have something like friendship is left or some sort of companionship is left so that you can appreciate that thing. So it's not all loss. But maybe your dreams and um, what you want is really over the top right now. So... It could be advising to, you know, to take it down to the kind of normal, small, average level. Okay, this was our reading number three. Let's move on to our deck number four. Deck number four is Drillcraft Tarot Deck. So, we're asking, what is this person's thoughts about you? Okay, so literally looking, it looks like maybe there's a disappointment at work as, as well. There are worries and tension at work. Maybe studies, maybe... Um, um, they think that you're really studying somewhere. They think you're a pretty normal, reliable person. You always show up when you have to show up. You're a part of the group that they belong to as well. This could be university, school, or office. And they might see us always writing, thinking, and uh, being like this old man, uh, like holding his head and writing something literally. So they might see you like that. So it's someone like this year solving problems, they're working hard, but most likely a very kind of school type of place or, or academic, professional type of place. You know, sometimes, of course, um, in some cases for some of you, these cars could uh, kind of, yeah, they might think of you as a colleague, they might think of you simply as someone they work with. Yeah, this card can mean, uh, it can mean cheating and a person who is not honest, uh, like who's slow, doesn't show up often, you know, it's not reliable, you know, things like that. But I think in this case, it's more like work. Okay, let's uh, have a look at their feelings. We have another work card coming out. Um, again, can be... They see you as someone who works, simply. Someone who 
kind of is for a long time with them. There's some sort of continuation, long-term relationship. Boredom even. Like they see it too much. It's like too much. So what is the advice? What, is, what are the feelings towards you? their feelings towards you well it, they're difficult feelings there's lots of kind of um, maybe they want to be free or maybe at some point they want to actually be with you but there's some difficulties that actually um, and they're controlling themselves and they cannot be with you so it's like to what is the problem maybe they have to travel a lot and they kind of try to say no so this relationship, it can be they have, they're too busy and have too much work. And because of that, they're limiting this relationship. Why they feel this way? <clears throat> Maybe they think you're too beautiful or they might have another girl. Uh, like too many girls out there. And they kind of have a big choice of girls. So they... You know, maybe they are this like a very hot person who is very popular, um, kind of really like ma like macho hot, you know, with muscles and you know, physique. Uh, that sort of person that everyone has a crush on. You know, that sort of person is super popular, but never stays with anyone for a long time. Maybe for that person, these many relationships is a bit of a burden. Because for guys, it can be a burden, as well as girls. Maybe it's a girl, I don't know. So if it's a person who's too popular, maybe for them it's a bit too much. You already, people who like them, people who propose them, kind of. So it might be too much, and this person is really trying to avoid it, trying to kind of uh, hide from it or avoid it. And I asked why is there such a burden. We have like a woman, seven of cups and another woman. It feels like I want, it, this card brings in a person a bit of a promiscuous nature, fantasizing type of nature, not romantic, multiple partners, I would say. So with these two queens is kind of confirming that they might cannot, they might not decide among other females that they are, that, they, that might be interested in them. What are their intentions towards you? Like they're so tired of being so popular. <sighs> Interesting. Either they want you so bad or they want to control themselves so bad. Their romantic nature. So I feel, you know, they might flirt with you. They might actually be the one who's more popular, more confident here. They might invite you to places, they might add you on the social media, they might act like super confident, like an expert flirter, you know, and um, like they know how to do it, it's so easy, they, you might f even find them to be arrogant in this, aggressive, intimidating a bit in their seductive uh, art so to say and I feel that this can talk about them asking you out somewhere like a place to go to like go out or it can be like a function or it can be like simply adding on their social media even okay so, what is the advice for you regarding this person? Again, we have uh, children here. I don't know if you're young. Maybe you're young, they're young. Maybe you're in school. It could be... Um, this card talks about being a bit careful, following the traditions, so to say. I would say, again, don't do anything stupid, be very predictable, normal, and follow the traditions and rules. 
if you are in school, then it's hard to explain. But don't go beyond uh, some sort of set of limits that you have for yourself, maybe, in this relationship. Do what is appropriate for your age and do what is appropriate for the rules that are around your parents, your culture, you know. Don't uh, do stupid things, don't risk anything, and do only what makes sense when it comes to this person. It can mean to keep this person a bit away from yourself, like a little bit limit the relationship, like a bit, be a bit cold towards them. How to go about that person? Look, these cards show that uh, maybe it's already this person has gone out of your hands, kind of. Uh, maybe already there was a moment where you thought that this relationship has died and disappeared and maybe you're just remembering uh, that person right now. So at the moment, do nothing. The cards didn't do nothing. Like, don't uh, just think about them. Think about what you want. Remember, sometimes maybe it's the purpose of a relationship. Uh, maybe you have to remember someone. Maybe it has some sort of purpose for you. Uh, but uh, I don't feel especially any kind of action here as recommended action. More like don't do anything. It's past. Something like that. Have your memories. Think about them. It's enough. Um, is this person for you? Okay, so I'm getting lots of um, attraction and maturity lots of kind of it can be karmic it's not just like that that you met that person you know judgment card can symbolize this person coming to your life not just like that it can be a purpose there but a purpose can be a flirt a purpose can be a fling a purpose can be just you know, to dream someone to dream about someone to be with some sort of young relationship, young passions, I don't know, that sort of situation. Okay, so this was our reading number four. I hope that it made sense for you. People's thoughts, feelings, and tensions, they change probably every day, every even hour, minute. Um, so yeah, check back again the next week or after a few days for more thoughts, feelings, intentions, and thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.